We are going to make a shield in shape of a star. Inflate a red balloon, leaving a 4 inch flat tail. Twist the first uh, 3 inch bubble. Twist the second soft uh, 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the second bubble in one lock twist. Twist the third 3 inch bubble. Twist the fourth soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the fourth bubble in one lock twist. Twist the fifth 3 inch bubble. Twist the sixth soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the sixth bubble in one lock twist. Twist the seventh 3 inch bubble. Twist the eighth soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the eighth bubble in one lock twist. Twist the ninth 3 inch bubble. Twist the tenth soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the tenth bubble in one lock twist. We have made a chain of 10 bubbles. Lock both ends of the chain of the 10 bubbles in one lock twist. We have made the pentagon shape. The rest of the balloon is the 11th bubble. We are going to attach balloons to the pentagon base to make a star. Inflate a yellow balloon, uh, leaving a 4 inch flat tail. Tie the nozzle of the yellow balloon around the second uh, red 1 inch bubble. Twist the first yellow 5 inch bubble. Twist the second yellow soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the second yellow bubble in one lock twist. Twist the third yellow 5 inch bubble. Lock the free end of the third yellow bubble around the fourth red 1 inch bubble. We have made the first arrow of the star. Twist the fourth yellow 5 inch bubble. Twist the fifth yellow soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the fifth yellow bubble in one lock twist. Twist the sixth yellow 5 inch bubble. Lock the free end of the sixth yellow bubble around the 6 red 1 inch bubble. The rest of the yellow balloon is the 7th bubble. I should inflate the yellow balloon a bit more to make the 7th bubble longer. Anyway, let's lock both ends of the yellow balloon in one lock twist. This way uh, we use the 7th yellow bubble as a handle to hold the shield. We need one more handle to hold the shield. And it's going to be the 11th red bubble. Twist the 11th red 7 inch bubble. Lock the free end of the 11th red bubble around the 8th uh, red 1 inch bubble. The rest of the red balloon is the 12th bubble.
inflate the second yellow balloon, leaving about 3 inch flat tail. Tie the nozzle of the second yellow balloon with the end of the first yellow balloon. It would be around the second red 1 inch bubble. Twist the seventh yellow 5 inch bubble. Twist the eighth yellow soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the eighth yellow bubble in one lock twist. Twist the ninth yellow 5 inch bubble. Lock the free end of the ninth yellow bubble around the uh, eighth red 1 inch bubble. Twist the tenth yellow 5 inch bubble. Twist the eleventh yellow soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the eleventh yellow bubble in one lock twist. Twist the twelfth yellow 5 inch bubble. Lock the free end of the 12th yellow bubble around the 10th red 1 inch bubble. Twist the 13th yellow 5 inch bubble. Twist the 14th yellow soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the 14th yellow bubble in one lock twist. Twist the 15th yellow 5 inch bubble. Lock the free end of the 15th yellow bubble around the second red 1 inch bubble. We have made the 5 point start. Fix all bubbles in proper positions. There is no use for the 13th red bubble. Use scissors or your fingers to cut off the 13th red bubble and hide the end between bubbles. Uh, you can easily use this sculpture as a shield already. Just pull your arm through loops of both handles. That's it. You have a shield in shape of a star. The shield would look uh, much better if you had uh, some more balloons to it. Let's try it. Inflate a blue balloon leaving about one inch flat tail. Tie the nozzle of the blue balloon to any point of the star. We are going to use the blue balloon to make uh, joints between uh, points of the star. Measure the distance between two nearest uh, points of the star. This is the size of the first blue bubble that you twist. Like the free end of the first blue bubble around the next point of the star. Measure the size of the uh, second blue bubble. It is the distance uh, between two next points of the star. Lock the free end of the second blue bubble around the next point of the star. In the same way, we keep working the blue balloon around each point of the star. Here is the third blue bubble and we lock it around the next uh, point of the star. We still have enough of the blue balloon to twist the fourth bubble. Lock the free end of the fourth blue bubble around the next point of the star. Now 
Now we have to use the second blue balloon just to twist one final bubble to make the join between the last two points of the star. First we tie the nozzle of the second blue balloon around the point of the star. Measure and twist the final blue bubble. Lock it with uh, the next point of the star. Now you can uh, use scissors or your fingers to cut off uh, the ends of the blue balloon. Tie off the ends, uh, hide the ends between the bubbles. That's it. Fix all bubbles in proper positions. Congratulations, we have made the star shield. Of course, uh, this uh, star shield will go along with any sword, but uh, if you make a sword with uh, star for the handle, it will uh, look really nervous. Pull your arm through the handles. Now you're ready to go play. Have fun and happy twisting.